YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel web for all things geeky and cool. And welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to the subscription unboxing video. That's right, you heard me correct, guys. I did not stutter. I'm back to doing subscription unboxing videos. We haven't done one of these since January of 2021. I want to thank all my viewers and subscribers that have stuck with me through everything for all my channel, all my videos, all that stuff. And if you're someone who's new, never watched any of my content before, please click the like button bottom page and click that subscribe button with a picture of my face or the 8-bit picture of me at the bottom of your screen. That will help this video code across the YouTube platform for other people looking for subscription unboxing videos can find them. Now, as I mentioned, we're doing a brand new subscription unboxing video. We're doing it for something I've done before. Now, if you're not familiar, I did Geek Fuel, which is what this box is right here, back in 2017. I stopped doing that box specifically because we had a lot of repeat items. After every several months, they put the same items in and they skip a month and put the same product in. I don't like that. I don't like repeat products being put in my mystery boxes. To me, it's not fun. I want different and unique things. I want new stuff. And that's what I think the biggest problem I had with Geek Fuel back in 2017. As I mentioned, this is something basically almost five years in the making. That's the last time I did Geek Fuel was in 2017. So the packaging you can see right here is in front of me. Very standard box that Geek Fuel used. It's a very similar box they had back in the day. You have the cool Geek Fuel logo right there. It does say Geek Fuel right here. It does have the cool robot right there as well. So I'm going to be cracking this box open momentarily. Again, we'll put it back to the picture so you can see it. Make sure we're looking correctly. It is. Price point for this box, if you want to buy one for yourself, is, 20, is actually $29.95. I got 10% off on my first box for it. So this is about $25 for this box. And this is the April 2021 box. I One thing, one note, a caveat to put a push pin on this video is I went to this box cold turkey. I didn't go in there looking for what the theme is for this box. I'm going in as someone, let's say if you're watching this for the very first time and you want to buy a mystery box, a subscription box, and you don't really know the theme, what's going on with it, that that's the approach I'm taking with this month's box and probably going forward. I don't want to know thematically what's in this box, meaning is it something tied to, let's say, sci-fi or fantasy or mystery, something along those lines, or TV. I don't want to know any of that stuff. I want to go in completely cold turkey. So with that being said, guys, let's crack into the April 2021 box. So I've already cut the bottom, uh, with actually the top here of this flap. So I'm, I'm going to just peel it open. So and that's how we'll go from there. So I'm going to peel it back and you'll see it first before I see it. So here's what we get in this box. This is what it will look like. It looks just like this. I'll pull the items out one by one. That's how I usually do these boxes. They usually give you literature, and I'm hoping there's literature in this box. It'll be very good if they give me some type of documentation, and I'm not seeing any documentation in this box. So first thing we always talk about before we do any type of things are usually wearables. They, most mystery boxes put wearables in their boxes. So most of the time it's t-shirts. Sometimes it might differ. So let's see what we got here. It's a black t-shirt. I always like my black t-shirts. It does it is, now this is branded for Geek Fuel. So I do like when Geek Fuel does exclusives. This is an exclusive shirt because it has their logo on it, correct size. And it says here as you wish. So this is a Princess Bride shirt. That's what it looks like to me, because that's a term for Princess Bride. Here's what it looks like. I'll put a shot of it in the B-roll so you can see the shirt. And we'll talk about value at the end of the video. I usually talk about value at the end when I wrap my stuff up. Next thing we have here is a pin from Firefly. Leaf on the wind. I'll take a shot up close so you can see what it looks like. Nice looking pin, has a copper looking tone to it. It's a leaf with the uh, uh, Serenity. That's the name of the ship because I don't watch Firefly, but I know a bit about it. So we have a nice pin here. This is a, uh, comes from OMX Online. This is not an exclusive. It looks like too geek feel. It looks like anybody could go to that website and purchase this pin. Looks nice, nice looking pin. Ages 14 up for this pin. So, so far, not too bad. Next thing we have here is some type of sticker. So I'm guessing this is pirate themed. So we have a pirate sticker right here. So this to me is kind of bad. And I'll tell about that momentarily. When you start getting stickers as your included item, not as a bonus item, that to me is bad. And, and one thing you might know about me, and I'm very honest when I do my reviews for my subscription boxes, I do not kind of, uh, I don't gloss over things. I'm very transparent and honest about my reviews. So this is garbage. This to me is not, should be not an included item, my personal opinion. This is a gimme item. This is something when you do, you know, if you put your four items in a box, which most mystery boxes do, this would be a bonus item as far as I'm concerned. So this is just a sticker. So not good as far as my personal opinion. And that's all the items in this box. So let's close the box up real quick here. And we'll look at this last item, which looks very, very uh, curious here. 
So it looks like a, it looks like it's called a bangerang on this one. This is a letter opener. So it comes in this nice looking box. It says uh, you can fly, you can fight, and you can crow. So this looks to be a hook item from the movie Hook, because that is a term that he always used to do, Peter Pan rather. So nice looking packaging on this. I do like the packaging. So this would be some type of letter opener. So here we have this right here. This is very, very nice. It says you can fly, you can fight, and you can crow. So yeah, it is hook, as I thought. This is nice. This is good quality. I can understand why they might have kind of cheesy, chintzied out on this, because they gave you literally a really, really nice, nice, I guess they call it a paperweight or letter, it says letter opener, that's what it is. Even it says letter opener on the box here. So this to me is nice, because this has a lot of weight to it. This is Peter Pan's sword. This is very, very heavy. And I'm assuming this would just sort of tab into this. I would assume maybe you can tab the sword in. Or you can, you know, you, or you sit it in, maybe. Ah, there's, that's how you do it. So it would sit in something like this is how you would sit it in. So that's how it would look. I'll take an up-close shot of it, but it is. I'll put it up to the mic so you can hear it. Like right I'll flick it so you can hear it. So it is solid. This is a solid, solid piece of, looks maybe copper, I'm guessing. But, or, or maybe steel, uh, kind of uh, emblazoned or chromed out to be copper. So yeah, very impressed with what they did with this. I mean, it is, as I mentioned before, very solid, very, very heavy. Um, it, I'm guessing this is the proper orientation that you put it in, so it looks like this. The reason I asked is because it looks like it's being, uh, there's a, a spot here for it, there's like a little clip here, a little, little indentation for it. It looks like that. And you just drop it in, so I guess there's a little piece in place to hold it in place. So it looks really, really good. I can see this sitting on a desk let's say your work desk and you're opening letters I can see this being a very useful item so I do like that and that's all the items in this box we got technically four items but this is a very high-end item this particular letter opener the banger ring let's put it over this way so we get the correct orientation in place so you can see what it looks like so a, a good amount of value in this one product it, does it, it, I think this eats the entire value of the box. We'll talk about that momentarily. So that's the April 2021 box as a nutsh in a nutshell. So let's talk value. I always talk about this at the end of the video. We didn't have a booklet to show off. That to me is bad only because I've seen Geek Fuel in the past give a little pamphlet for the information. This could be an oversight. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe in the next month's box from May, that would be rectified. So hopefully that will be in fact true. Let's put the uh, packaging right there so you can see it. So let's talk value. The t-shirt right here from the Princess Bride as we showcased off earlier this black shirt right here. Good shirt. I like the design. I think it looks really really cool. Very neat shirt. Like it a lot. Value for the shirt personally I think probably we'll put it at let's go we'll go low we'll go ten dollars US on that. The sticker here no value. This is worth nothing. That's garbage my personal opinion. Don't like it. Next, this pin here for Firefly is Serenity. This probably, I want to put at least, this is probably, I would say 15 bucks. I could be off on my pricing. I'm going to say $15. So total value so far, shirt and pin, 25 bucks. Now we get this letter opener. This, I guess you call it maybe it's brass. It, I'm assuming it's brass. This brass letter opener says bangerang on it. Uh, I believe that was the correct terminology. Make sure I'm correct. The bangerang, yeah, letter opener. So I'm very, very happy about this letter opener. It looks really good, very, very weighted. I want to say this is at least probably, I'm going to say $30 probably for this letter opener. I'm assuming I don't know. I'm guessing. So I put the value of this box total. If we look at the shirt at, 50, at, at 10, the pin at 15, 25, 30, you're looking at a $55 box in my personal opinion. I, it's well over 50 bucks. I, I, it's well worth the money. The crappy sticker, don't like it. I wish it been a better item. I wish we had documentation for this box. We don't. So that's my April 2021 review in a nutshell for the uh, Geek Fuel box. I know that they normally have these special like grab bags, that, which is like a, a throwback to the 80s or throwback to vintage. They do those with those boxes as well. I've seen a few videos that talked about it. I was hoping to get one of those cool, uh, it's a little like uh, silver bag, but there wasn't one in this box. So hopefully we get one next month. And again, we'll be up close shots of everything in this box. So I hope you do like this video review of again, doing subscription boxes for the April 2021 21 Geek Fuel Box. Remember to click the like button on the page. Click the subscribe button. When you subscribe to channel, click the bell to kind of be notified of my latest videos. And of course, last but not least, you can click Windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. See you next video. And bye-bye.